life has been life in already because come on you guys didn't tell me that this is what it is <laughs> Welcome to Lolita's VL. I literally just came back from school, had a very long day, 8 a.m. class all the way till 6. So it's supposed to go like 8 to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6. But the class that was for 4 to 6 ended quite early, thank God. And then I just literally got home, freshened up, and honestly, honestly, I've really been feeling so, feeling so, so guilty about not posting content for you all like not filming not because there hasn't been content but i really i really haven't i have not come to terms with the fact that uh i need to do everything i want to do at the same time i don't know if you get what i mean i don't know if you understand what i mean but really life has been life in like if there's a word like that life has been life in and it's it has been a roller coaster. I'm not going to talk about all that anyway. But I that you no know, usually regularly I would come here give tips, talk about stuff that like um, encourage you all out there. Mostly stuff relating to my own personal experiences, my own personal experiences, right? Well, you see, there's something that has been going on in my mind for like a month now, and it's something that I wanted to put out here. As content for anyone who is presently in my shoes and or who has previously felt what I'm feeling right now if you have after listening to me or whilst watching this video please drop in the comment section below let me know your own side to it right so quick backstory for those of you who are just seeing my face for the first time quick backstory 11 months ago or 12 months ago I got married mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so this time last year i was preparing for my wedding right i got married and back then i was still in school personally still in the same level i am now one year later yeah my one year anniversary is coming up <laughs> and um it has been it has been an experience guys it actually really feels like four years already i was <laughs> like if it's okay in one way it feels like four years it feels like a long time that's what i mean by feeling like four years then in another way i'm like mm, has one year gone by already but by the time i think of what i have been through every day i'm like yes until one year that you will reach date is one year in fact it should even be more than one year already because come on you guys didn't tell me that this is what it is <laughs> no like nobody schooled me that's the thing so after this past 11 months, right, I've come to realize that there is no, uh, see, there's no workbook, there's no textbook, there's no pamphlet, there's no um, motivational book. There's nothing that can prepare you for what marriage is, especially for those of us in this, our generation, you know, marrying in your early 20s, marrying when you're working, when you're working and schooling, sim sim hey, when you're working and schooling simultaneously, nothing nothing my dear and i'm saying it now nothing prepares you for your experiences your day-to-day -day experience and i'm telling you your day-to-day -day experiences on this full-time institution <laughs> called marriage nothing prepares you for it and it's not something you can anticipate you can't practically tell that this is how it's going to be every day you can't you can't you can't know it <laughs> you, there's no way <laughs> it's not jazz right it hits you it just comes and it hits you and the only thing you can do for yourself which nobody can do for you nobody can teach you how to do it the only thing you can do for yourself is prepare yourself mentally pray pray as in fire prayer <laughs> prepare yourself mentally and emotionally and you'll be able to skip. So let me list some of these things that I have considered. I I like to use the word struggles, right? But not struggles as in um you know I'm not trying to scare you. Yeah, it's not struggles that are scary, but they are actually struggles because <laughs> it's not easy, it's not easy peasy. So this is me sharing with you like the struggles that when I don't tell me say you did, <laughs> but I have been I have experienced, I'm still experiencing, and 
I really, I really don't know. I don't know how to solve them. Like, <laughs> there are things that just happen. And I think they are more predominant with me because, like I said, I work at school simultaneously. So it's like I'm bipolar sometimes. You know, it's like uh, in the morning, very early in the morning, I'm a student. Yeah, I have 8 o'clock classes, 9 o'clock classes, 10, 10 o'clock classes, right? So very early in the morning, I'm a student. But before I had to become a student, by that time, maybe I woke up like around 6, I had to be a wife, I had to be a homemaker, take care of my home, I had to clean up, I had to ensure that I'm leaving my home in a good condition. I had to ensure that hobby is fine going to work, um, he's packed up for the day, you know. I have to ensure that the both of us, you know, the synergy between us is still cool, it's still sweet, it's still, you know, all vibed up. And then I have to switch to my other person, which is a um, regular Unilag student girl. So that is the second personality, right? I never just took light, but uh, this video must continue. And that is like students with another personality, right? So running to school, I have to start thinking, are there pending assignments? Are there pending tasks I have to do? What is this course say? What does it entail? And then you run all through that. And then maybe like around 10, 30, 11 ish, I'm in school, right? And I remember that, okay, I have to work. Like I have to publish stuff. I have, cause I work remotely, right? I'm on my phone. I have social media pages. I am managing, I'm handling. I have clients I need to, keep in touch with then i'm um, doing that in between school work one two three and i'm like mm, mm, and you keep going and then once it's around four you know what in this part of our country once it's four it's evening it's like the day is rounding up already and i'm like mm, what are we going to eat this night you see that part you see that part you know if you are a new wife and you struggle with this part please let me know in the comment section below you know thinking about what to eat I don't know why it just dawned on me that dinner is a big deal <laughs> this time because in my single years I could have let us buy bread and cook or bread and suya or you just look for something because I'm obviously exhausted, right? But yeah, it's my family and then this time I have the um the joy and pleasure of eating with the man I love, right? And those moments are moments that are uh, together moments. I want to talk about how our day has gone. So obviously, a good meal should go with it, right? That is where you start cracking your head. Okay, around four, you're probably still on campus, right? You're thinking about what you are going to eat. You're thinking, okay, my kitchen, what do I have? Elimination and... <laughs> Elimination and substitution. Okay, what do I have? Okay, no, I don't have swallow. Okay, I have semu. Okay, we have soup. Okay, no, no, the soup. Okay, do I have meat in the freezer? Okay, what do I need to pick up on my way coming from school? Okay, do I need to stop at this place pick up vegetables? Okay, no, I have vegetables. Oh well, thank God I I did bulk cooking over the weekend. That is for the weekend. You are even opportuned or enabled to do bulk cooking right you do bulk okay i say okay no i have soup okay okay no wahala for the time when you're not opportunity to do bulk cooking over the time when you've had soups two nights in a row for dinner or two times in a row for dinner and you're like you want to spice it up you need something to eat that is when all the kind of guilty conscience in this world will start hitting you left right and center uh uh if you had semu two times now or you had fufu two times you want to eat fufu again this night spice it up don't let this man get tired of your food man you see that part i really don't enjoy it but at the end of the day I, I think we find a way around it most times. Once it's like four five, because Hobbs close work, Hobbs closes work, OJ closes work by five, right? So it's a thing. It's that it's one of us has to ask first. Most times I don't ask first, but even him will just ask. He just drop a message, right? And he's like, "Baby, what's up? What's for dinner?" And I ask him, oh, "What do you feel like eating?" We just start talking about it. Spend like thirty minutes one hour thinking about what we both are going to have for dinner and then come to a conclusion i'm like okay well, this is what i agree that be okay me i can't i don't have market close to school you know way back coming back from work please pick this i'll now type them on whatsapp and list all the things he needs to buy on the back from work while i get home and prepare myself and prepare my mind to enter the kitchen to cook and before you know it is 9 p.m you're having dinner and you are exhausted like your body your bones your back you can't feel any part of your body is no longer for you at all and is that where it ends come on now you know you're a new wife no see it <laughs> you finish dinner for the stomach you now have to you know go perform your other duties if you know what i mean please where is the energy 
what what else have we made what else and in between that even when i'm in the kitchen at that time maybe 6 37 i'm still working i put my phone on my left and my food and my cooker is on my right please this thing is not easy it's hot but oh well that has been the biggest struggle and um i think one this thing apart from years of just the grace and the help of God, one other thing that has helped me pull through safe and sound this long, this 11 months long or 12 months long, what has helped me pull through is trying to have better time management skills and yes, having OJ around, which is really very helpful. Uh, uh, yeah, helping with chores, keeping me company. So the time when I have to, that the time I spent cooking or making dinner, because we are tired, he has to come back from work, had a very long day, and we don't have all that time for all that lovey dovey, and we just do our lovey dovey inside the kitchen there as I'm cooking or he's helping me, you know, wash this, wash that. We just just talk about how our day went and do all the lovey dovey. I want to just eat, just go and crash. I wake up the following day for the following day's struggles. Now, Having narrated all this, <laughs> so, anyway, so I just heave the sigh of relief, right? Having narrated all this, come on, this is just one year, like, really? I don't definitely get easier, right? Obviously, when I started, like, the first two, three months, yes, school was on strike. I wasn't really feeling it as much. But now I'm feeling it. But even when, you know, when school initially resumed, I still struggled a bit more. But now I think I've been able to balance it up a little bit. We know how my timetable works and who needs to get up first and who needs to help who more in the mornings or at night. So, well, that's been it. That's been it for your girl. <laughs> and for all those that are coming at me right now saying we've not seen your face for some weeks after uploaded videos, my dear, that is what has been sucking me dry. <laughs> Yeah, and then a host of other responsibilities that you don't know you have until you have them. <laughs> like, there are things that you literally have to do, that you literally are involved in, that you really can't even start explaining, but they are just responsibilities either in church, uh, family, they're just things that just have your name everywhere around it. And if you're not doing it, you're found wanting. And I really don't like to be found wanting, right? So, well, all these things put together equals to my, <laughs> my first 11 months as a married woman in her early 20s. <laughs> yeah, guys. So let me know in the comment section if you are currently in these shoes or if you have graduated from these shoes that you feel somewhat relieved and you want to share experiences with me or what has worked for you. For you to feel better, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for the support, your love, the comments. And for those that have checked up on me all this while, saying, girl, where have you been? Like, you've not been filming. Thank you so much. Your girl is fine. You know? Sometimes just pick up this camera, go and even stand in front of it. Eh? Ah, we're a body. I think we're doing it now and we're here and I thank you for watching this particular content and I promise not to run away again I'll try <laughs> thank you so much I love you and I'll see you in the next one